G'day everyone, this is going to be an ultra fast dip trace um, tip about veer tenting um, and it comes with special thanks for Ben, um, otherwise known as Rawley Wow on, um, on, the, on the Mad Bean forum and he has a website as well, um, special little plug for him um, as a thank you for uh, helping me with this tip um, and I'll leave his, um, his link down below, he sells um, guitar uh, effect PCBs as well so if you haven't checked out his stuff go and have a look. Um, and he certainly knows his way around um, a PCB program like Dip Trace, I can tell you that. Um, so, what is veer tenting? Um, basically, this is a PCB, um, that, the Face Master PCB, if I can get that in focus, there we go. You can see those two circles near where my finger is, just below um, U2. Um, there is a big one and a very small one. Um, that is a veer, and I've explained in the, deep, in the Dip Trace tutorial series um, what veers are for and how to, how to use them. Um, but they can confuse new builders. Um, they look like they well, they basically are just a small um, through hole. Um, and some uh, new builders will see them and say, "What the hell am I supposed to do with that?" It's better if you can cover them. And it's something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while: is to put make the um, make the solder mask go over the top of um, the veers and you can do it and it's actually quite simple and I'll show you on the computer um, how, to, how to do that. So this is the um, PCB layout, you don't have to do anything to the PCB layout, it actually happens at the final end of the process which is file export gerbil like I've shown you in the tutorial series to export your um, files for fabrication and then on top mask you just uncheck veers. Mine's already unchecked because Dip Trace remembers when you uncheck um, when you uncheck an option, so you don't have to do it every time. Um, and bottom mask as well. Make sure you uncheck that too, because you want the bottom of the veer to be um, solder masked over as well, or uh, tented veers, or veer tenting, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it will cover it, so it won't confuse your customer as to what they have to do with that little um, pad that's exposed. And you can check this in OSH Park 2 when you upload to make to confirm that um, they're going to be solder masked over. It'll give you the preview and it will show you that it has the solder mask um, applied over the pad. Um, but that's it. It's that simple. It's worthwhile doing. If you're not doing it, you might as well do it because it um, makes your layout look a little bit easier to follow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself guitar pedal tutorials and everything related to do-it-yourself guitar pedals that you could possibly think of. Thanks for watching.